today I'm going to do this leaf, I think. Yes, this leaf. That is the pistachio praline. And I don't know if I like pistachio flavor. Not quite sure. I like pistachios themselves, but let's see. And this dark chocolate. There's so much dark chocolate in this box. It's really a little bit odd to me. Okay. That's hard. Okay. It's pretty tightly packed, not much filling. I'm just really getting the oh. Oh no. Mm. The pistachio is cutting the dark chocolate flavor. And it's helping it not be so bitter, which is good. I can't quite... Oh, I think these are like real pistachios ground in there. It's a little gritty. Like, if you eat pistachios, then you kind of know what it tastes like as you chew them. So it's giving that a little bit. Oh, it is pistachios in there. I'm not crazy. Okay, I like it. It's pretty good, and like I said, it's cutting the the dark chocolate flavor a lot, so it's not making it as bitter. This is a good one. I like day thirteen success. Oh my gosh, uh, I completely forgot day fourteen. I was so busy like doing stuff, and somebody texted me and was like, "Wow, no chocolate today." How y'all didn't say nothing? Oh my goodness. Okay, since apparently I'm gonna have a long night, I'm going to try this here. And that is called the Coffee Praline. And the picture is giving me dark chocolate, so I'm assuming it's also dark chocolate and coffee. That sounds like a lot of bitter, um, but we're gonna see. So I picked this one up and it's really thick, like it's super tall and it's kind of cracked. So like it must be filled with something. Um, but let's see. It's hard. Okay. I think it's hollow. Big old thick pieces of chocolate for no reason. The coffee in here tastes so good. I love this. And it's not dark chocolate, this is milk chocolate. Mmm, this might be one of my favorites. Why is it so thick though? It's just like one, mmm. Like one whole coffee drink because I'm getting the sugar from the praline is coming through very nicely. And the chocolate taste is so okay. And the coffee taste. It don't gotta be so thick. There was really no reason for that. Literally thicker than a snicker. But I like it. Day 14, even though it was the late mmm. Even though it was delayed, big success. Now that I've successfully got all the way in my feelings, we're gonna do day 15. I'm gonna go simple, okay? We're gonna do this one here, just with the little zigzags. And I think that is zigzag light, which is praline with crispy rice. And y'all know I like crispy rice, so we're gonna try that. It could also be bergamot noir which is bergamot ganache because it has the little three little lines on here. This has three lines, but they're not curvy like this. So somebody not doing the designs right. So I guess we'll have to taste it and find out. Mm. 
and a zigzag light. Definitely full of crispy rice. Simple, simple but tasty. I knew what I was getting myself into. And I like it. I did one with crispy rice before, so not that exciting, but it is tasty, so I wanted to certify success today. Okay, bye. Hey y'all, it's day 16. I am very tired, so forgive my energy, but today I'm going to try this one here, this Cornet one, looking like a flagship chocolate. And that one says it is a praline with a whole nougatine. And when I tried one with nougatine before, I got things mixed up. I just researched it. I was thinking it was nougat. You know, stuff, the stuff that's in like Snickers bars and stuff like the little, it's like fluffy, fluffy and creamy. But nougatine is basically that caramelized and it's crispy and all that stuff so it's a completely different thing i didn't realize that the first time and so my review was a little off but okay i think i'm on track i don't even want no chocolate right now but i'm committed to this okay this is really tall very very thick mm, okay so i'm getting that crunch Obviously the new team, you see that layer on the top. There's something else in the middle as well. The new team is good though. I can't tell what else that is in the middle. So it's nougatine something that's, it's like mousse-like, but it's denser. And then underneath that, it's like the praline, the praline of like the, the sugar and the hazelnut. I don't know what that is in the middle. Mmm. The nougatine is giving me No, I'm not gonna go as far as to say it tastes like caramel. It doesn't. But I like how, like chocolate is obviously a lot of sugar, but when they add these other little things, it brightens it up and makes it just less chocolate on chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. And it gives it a little excitement. I like this one. And yeah, I like this one. This is a good flagship chocolate for sure go want to put their name on y'all i have fallen off the chocolate challenge the other day i wasn't home to do the chocolate so i couldn't do it then last night i just i was in the middle of something and i just forgot so today i ain't making up no chocolates i'm just gonna start where we left off so today is day 19 so we have what six days left after this so today I'm going to do so you see how there's a dark one and a light one here that one I think is this Romeo light it's almond praline with honey I think that's that one I don't see anyone else that looks like that so let's see what that's about Okay. Smooth on the inside. A lot of filling. Mmm. Hold on. Mm, hold on. Clearly the praline and the honey needs mixed down with it. Very, 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 very rich. The honey taste is faint, but it's there. I'm surprised there's so much filling in such a faint honey taste. 
it's a good nut. It's hard to describe. It's good though. It's not a bad chocolate. Day 19 is a success. It's good. Like I said, the honey taste is very faint. But substantial filling and not just blocks of chocolate on the top and the bottom like some of the other ones. So day 19 is a success.